For my personal day-to-day -day stuff, I like to shoot at ISO 800. Combine that with the gear that I use, it gives me the most flexibility for unpredictable lighting situations. And since most film stocks I shoot don't come in 800 speed, I tend to find myself pushing most of my rolls, and subsequently never really pulled film. And so I thought, I wonder what I'm missing out on. And if I'm gonna pull, let's see how far I can take it. 400. For starters, here's a roll I shot at box speed. One caveat is that I had to dig deep to find this roll. These old negatives are about five years old, and I don't exactly remember how I developed it, so it might not be the best apples to apples comparison, but it should be good enough. Besides this roll, everything else was shot on fresh HP5 developed in row not 1 to 50. It's HP5, it's what you'd expect. Two hundred. Honestly, the grain isn't that dissimilar to 400. The difference is really negligible and within the margin of error. There might be a smidge less contrast and grain, but honestly, I'm probably just seeing things. And if you told me that this was HP5 at box speed, I would probably believe you. One hundred. Compared to two hundred, the difference is marginal, and I'd be hard pressed to tell which one's which. Fifty. The difference between 400 and 100 is a little subtle, but at 50 was where I really started to notice some differences. The grain is definitely getting finer, although I'm not sure if it's less grain or if the grain itself is smaller. At ISO 50 I found it was still usable handheld. Granted, I was shooting close to wide open for most of the shots, and it was a cloud-free sunny day, but it was still surprisingly usable. 25. This was the point where I really started to regret doing this project. At this point, these shots were about 50-50 handle and tripod, and it was becoming a chore to shoot. And you'll probably start to notice a decline in the quality of the photographs more so than usual. 12. There's one important thing I need to note. I've been using the massive dev chart to help me figure out development times, and up until this point they've had times and dilutions up to ISO 25. So for 12, I had to make an educated guess. And looking at the negatives, they look a little overdone. And I bring this up because I might have overdeveloped this or overexposed it, and it might skew the results a bit. And now we are at the end of the line. Let me introduce to you HP5 shot at ISO 5. This was an agony to shoot. Every shot was a long exposure done on a tripod, and it didn't help that this was a hot and humid day. So it was a miserable experience, but at the very least, the results were interesting. Moving in one-stop increments, the changes are gradual, and it might be hard to notice, but when you compare box speed to 5, I mean just a look at it, there is a noticeable loss in contrast. The grain just melts away. There are some interesting things I noticed about the negatives. 
If you look closely, there's a bunch of bleed in the spaces between the frames and up in the sprocket holes. I was overexposing the film by a lot, so you could see this halation effect where there's strong light. And it's also interesting to see the exposed leaders. If you compare the leader from 200 to 5, you could see that 200 is opaque, whereas 5 is slightly translucent. And I know that the definition of pulling is overexposing and underdeveloping, which explains the thin negative, but it's just so weird to see a leader come out thin and have slightly overexposed negatives. Anyway, to wrap this all up, I probably should explain why I stopped at ISO 5. I shot all of this with my Nikon FE2 and used its built-in meter. You could see that it goes all the way down to ISO 12, but you could also set the exposure comp to overexpose it an additional one and a third stops, allowing you to meter it for ISO 5. And throughout this process, I went with one stop increments, but by the time I got to my last roll, I was done and I just wanted to go for broke. So I shot it at five and called it a day. Also, when people mention box speed, they say it's the number on the box, but they never mention which number.